Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Outdoors here. This is a knife I'm pretty excited to get a review on just because this knife was one of the couple knives that I came home with from Blade Show and it was actually a gift. And the knife I'm talking about is the Lion Steel M2M. Uh, special thanks to Andrea with Lion Steel. Uh, I got to meet him in person and he handed me this knife for a gift and I'm always greatly appreciative of it and that being said this knife since I got a kydex sheath for it which I will show in just a moment um this knife's been on my hip quite a bit and I actually like it it makes a great EDC belt knife so let's look into this knife some more all right so here is the Lion Steel M2M. Now they got a few different variances of it, mostly with a uh, handle material and color. But I got the uh, natural brown micarta, and it's roughly about a three and a half inch blade. I think it's like a little under eight inches overall. Um, I'm not sure in millimeters, but thickness wise, it's about. 530 seconds of M390 steel made in Italy. Uh, size wise, kind of comparison, I don't have one out with me, but it's a, about the same size as an SE3 minus the choil. So if you really like the SE3, but you want something just a little bit more fills the hand a little better and without that annoying choil that's on the SC3 I would highly suggest checking out the Lion Steel M2M now out of the box it does come with a leather sheath and the leather sheath is actually designed for like EDC kind of use you can either scout carry it and or uh, regular belt carry it I generally for my EDC use I like a kydex sheath so I went ahead and got a Armatus carry sheath for it. I really highly like Armatus carry. Uh, he's one of my favorite sheath makers. And uh, be sure if you're going to check out Armatus carry, be sure to use coupon code LAST HUNTSMAN, all capital letters. And it gives you a little friendly discount. Now let's get using this knife a little bit of batoning with it. It's only about a three and a half inch blade, 530 seconds thick of uh, M390 steel. So it's not gonna be some heavy batoner by no means. It's more of a EDC knife size, but I know Lion Steel makes some very solid and capable stuff too. Perfectly fine. It does pretty good with the batoning. It's a full flat grind, but it also has a good looks like roughly about 530 seconds thick steel stock on it so it can just kind of plow right through these little pieces of wood for sure i'm just gonna do some feather sticks with it That's pretty good. 
the task I'm going to do with the lion steel M2M here. So I'm just going to do some slicing. I'm going to do kind of my ninja death grip and just kind of get a feel for how it is. How it feels ergonomically and how it slices here. Right off the bat, as expected, that wide, high, um, no full flat grind. That wide blade and that full flat grind is just a very slicey knife. And honestly, this handle just glues to my hand it just it's perfect it's actually for a knife this size it's probably one of the best ergonomic handles i've ever held on to and i it's um micarta but it still has a decently rough finish on it even with just bare hands it still feels amazing in hand And it is very comfortable. You even put your thumb up onto. It has that crowned, rounded spine. So you're not going to strike a ferro rod off of the spine. But we might even try a pommel because I think there is a sharp spot there. All right, another test that I'm going to do with the Lion Steel M2M. So I'm going to try to get uh, strike a ferro rod with it. Now, the spine itself is not sharp. It has a crowned, rounded spine. Yeah, it's not going to strike ferro rod. That being said, Lion Steel likes to put these little sharp spots on the pommels. And I guess the idea is that you use the ferro rod and pull away and strike like that. Now, me personally, this works. And I could get a fire going like that if I had to. Me personally, I would prefer if they just did a sharp spine on these. It would have been really awesome. But, that being said, it still works pretty good. And steel M2M. This is only a three and a half inch blade. However, if it's all you got, you can still use it. take down a tree and I trust that Lion Steel's heat treatment on their M390 steel is going to be solid enough that'll do the trick. And actually, the trick pretty good. What do you got? I'm going to do just a little bit of uh, notches and cross grain batoning here. square notch Get something more for like a tent stake all right now let's cross grain baton it Holds up just fine. All right, another thing I'm going to test out with the Lion Steel M2M here. Now, I'm going to kind of test this as like a possible defensive knife. I know that's not what this is marketed as by no means whatsoever, and I'm not advocating for violence or anything. But if, you know, violence comes to you, let's just see how it works here. Very quick in hand. It indexes amazingly well. And the guard is deep enough in there that your hand's not gonna slip forward on it. Let's just do a little bit of stab test with it. So it stabs decently well, but it's not like gonna be primarily a stabber. It's more of a slashing type of blade, but it does work pretty good. Another little test we're going to try is some rope cutting here. 
Lion Steel M2M. Full flat grind. Glides right through that rope. Let's try to double it up a little bit here. I don't think it's going to much matter, though. Double it up. Line steel M2M. It's pretty good. Another thing I'm just going to kind of discuss a little bit more is I kind of mentioned the ergonomics when I was doing the like slicing and ergonomic test, but the handle scales on this knife just feels amazing. Like I said, now I got medium sized hands. This thing just fits my hand perfectly. It's probably one of the best little EDC knives for ergonomics feels great holding it this way feels great holding it this way if you're gonna do like your little chest lever uh, cheerleader looking i i just i think it looks silly yeah um if you like doing that stuff then it's gonna feel great for that it even feels good if i want to like hold it sideways the ergonomics on this knife feels absolutely amazing and i think it's just kind of something i wanted to point out just how it looks contouring and stuff and it's not too smooth i hate really smooth handles these are like almost the perfect amount of like texture and smoothness in one all right so i'm going to wrap up my review of the lion steel m2m um right off the bat i'm just gonna make this real easy this is probably one of my favorite edc uh, knives honestly i love this knife it does everything that i have done with it very well it's a very slicing knife this would actually make a good little food prep knife too i didn't really do any more food prep so i might kind of do some more part twos or even shorts with it the uh, M390 steel holds up pretty good. I do kind of wish that they would use like an upgraded steel for this. I would love to see this knife in like a um, CPM 3V or Magna Cut or even LMAX would be pretty nice too. Um, but that being said, there is no flies with M390 steel, especially from Lion Steel. Uh, Lion Steel does pretty good um, process with their steel. Uh, honestly, I would put Lion Steel on, like, the same scale as, like, Essie as far as, like, quality and what you're getting. Well, actually, their fit and finish is a little nicer than Essie. I, I have to actually give it that, and their ergonomics is a little nicer. But all that being said, I would highly suggest this knife. And uh, if you're wanting to potentially EDC this knife, I would definitely look into the armatus carry sheath uh use my coupon code last huntsman all capital letters and get a nice little friendly discount on the armatus sheath um but this is definitely going to be one of my main edc uh knives that i'm going to kind of rotate through it's definitely in my top five for sure um but all that being said be prepared both physically and spiritually God bless and carry on.